it's Sierra from The Home Blondie and in this video I am making over my husband's closet. You can kind of see it a little bit right behind me. I just finished painting it last night but let me rewind here and I'll show you what it looked like before. So this is Kevin's closet before the makeover so it doesn't look too bad but as you can see, I did start painting it back when I painted our room and never finished it. I wanted to paint over all of the wallpaper and also find a way to better organize all of his hats and all of his shoes. Even though he's actually a very tidy person, this area of our house gets really messy because it's just not functional. So the first thing that we did was go through his closet and clean out his clothes. This is not easy for him to do. He likes to hang on to things. He still had a ton of clothes from like high school and college that he hasn't worn in years. So we just brought everything into our guest room and the things on the bed were items that he was either donating or just throwing away if it was really dirty. And then we hung everything else in the closet while I was painting. And then we had to laugh at this. He had been hanging on to this paper because he thought it was a nice note that I wrote him. And then we realized it was just the receipt from our coffee maker. And this is what the closet looked like after we took all of the clothes out. Like I said, I just painted over this wallpaper because I have removed so much wallpaper from this house and it is such a pain. And here I'm just cleaning everything out before I start painting. Somehow I lost all of the footage from when I was actually painting the closet, but that's okay. It wasn't that exciting anyway. So before I put everything back in his closet, I did order a couple of organizational type things. So this is a shoe rack that we are going to need to assemble. I hate assembling things, but we're gonna work on that. And then I also got this hanging organizer. Let's see, I don't know exactly how you hang it. It looks like, yeah, the hangers are in here. So we'll have to put that on and then he can put all of his hats in there. So let's put together the shoe rack and then we'll start putting everything back in the closet. Okay, so as I am putting this together, we can just have a little chat. So it's pretty warm today, actually. I think it's 40 degrees. So if you can hear that sound, it's just the snow melting like down our gutters. But we are about to get a huge snowstorm. They are predicting anywhere from 10 to 20 inches of snow, which is insane. I'm pretty happy about it because I don't have to go into work the next two days. So I'm just gonna be nice and cozy at home. And Kevin, my husband, he got some type of bobcat machine and he's hoping to make some money like plowing driveways and things. So should be a fun and interesting next couple of days. Okay, this doesn't seem too bad. So it looks like I just have to put these together, weave them through these fabric pieces, which are gonna be like the shelves, and then hook everything into this. So this one with the skinnier part is wow. the C rod and then it just pushes into the B rod. Okay, so far so good. So when I planned this closet makeover, I was also planning on making over all of his clothes. Um, but honestly, I kind of ran out of time and he didn't want to get rid of a lot of things. He did get rid of quite a few things, mostly things that were like from high school that he still had. He only wears like maybe 10 outfits, but um, he just has a hard time like getting rid of things where I am the complete opposite. I can get rid of anything and not care. I do not have like emotional attachment to things. So we're just opposites in that way. Yeah, so Kevin just does not care about his clothes like at all. <laughs> um, I mean, he'll wear whatever, but he's not gonna like go out and shop for clothes. I need to do it for him, which is great, but I wanna like get stuff that he likes, that I also like. 
So we're just kind of trying to figure out like how to go about that. So if you have any recommendations on where your husband shop or where you shop for your husband, then let me know. Kevin is not gonna wear anything like <laughs> super trendy. Okay, I have to get a screwdriver for this next part. Okay, here we go. You can come in here, Harvey. You can come in here, buddy. For some reason, Harvey and Lucy are terrified of my tripod. So whenever I get out my tripod, they will just like run into the other room. But Harvey was just laying in the hallway outside of my door. Yeah, he's not gonna stay because he's afraid of the tripod. Okay, so now I just need to line these up with these holes and put in the screws. down. They should really just have you put these on first and then slide those shelves on. All right, this is how it looks so far. It's a little wobbly and I'm a little confused because I have all these extra pieces, but I think you only need to use these if you're like stacking two of these. So I guess I'll just throw these away, but I don't know. Maybe Kevin can get this straight if that's like gonna bug him, but I think it'll be okay. Okay, so this is what it looks like all freshly painted. And then I just put that shoe rack there and the hat hanger here. So now I'll start bringing in the clothes and start organizing them. Okay, let's start with the hats. So the ones that I know he never wears, like this one still has the sticker on it, I'm gonna put those ones towards the bottom. actually worked out perfectly. I did have to put two hats in here. He wears these ones for work a lot, so I just put those two together. And then this also has little pockets here, so that could be nice. He could put like his wallet here, or I don't know, whatever little things he wants to put in there. There's three pockets on this side and then three pockets on the other side. Okay, I never thought I would be married to a croc guy, <laughs> but here we are. I will say he wears these mostly to the lake, but we did come to a compromise. There's these shoes called Hey Dudes. Um, they kind of look like Sperry's a little bit. They're like boat shoes, but they're supposed to be really comfortable and I think they're also waterproof. So he's going to get those this summer and maybe then we can part ways with the Crocs. Comment below whether you are a Croc person or not. Oh look, there's no room for the Crocs. I guess we have to throw them away. his work clothes and just like chilling around the house and fun fact about my husband is that he's colorblind so I just tried to like color coordinate these a little bit or at least try to keep similar colors together I'm sure this will all like get messed up because usually like he does his own laundry I do my own laundry and so he'll just probably put it back however he wants to but we'll see if this works out for a little bit okay now 
up here, these are like dressier shirts. Like if we go to a wedding or a fancy event, um, some flannels and then shirts that are like date night approved <laughs> by me. I like when he wears just basic shirts like this. This is actually one that I got him. Um, it's from Abercrombie. It's just like a comfy, just plain shirt. Or like a Nike polo like this I think is really cute. So these kinds of clothes that I want him to wear are going to be on this shelf. And then I also have his like dressier pants here, which I might end up moving those to the back. We'll just see what he thinks. I'm sure he'll like switch this around a little bit, but just to get it all set up, I'm gonna do it my way and then see what he thinks when he comes home. Okay, now down here we have all of his sweatshirts and hoodies. This man has the most hoodies I have ever seen in my life. There are even more that we are donating in the other room, but he does wear a lot of these for work. So I tried to put like the more work hoodies closer to his work clothes. And now all I have left are his pants and shorts and stuff. So I think I'm gonna put those on these shelves. I might try to leave this shelf open. So I know in my closet, I have an open shelf where I just like throw things that maybe I wanna wear one more time before like washing it or something. And I think that would be really nice for him to have like a shelf like that. So I'm gonna see if I can fit all of these up here on the top. And I think I'll put a little like folding step stool in here too. I have one of those in my closet and it's perfect. So yeah, we can just like slide one in down here or something. So I'll have to go and get him one of those. But for now, we'll just borrow mine from my closet. Okay, I think it turned out really nicely. So again, we have hats here, shoes down there, work clothes and like just hanging out at home comfy clothes, date night outfits approved by me, hoodies and sweatshirts, and then up here just like his backpack, a travel bag, and then some work pants that he said he doesn't want to get rid of but he also doesn't wear. So we're just gonna leave those up there for now. Um, and then those are like summer shorts and those are his jeans. He must have more jeans in the wash because I know he has more than just one pair. And then this shelf I'm gonna try to leave empty so he can just like throw things there. Um, kind of like a junk shelf. And then here he has this box that he just kind of keeps like random things in. And then I put that little step stool there and then I'll just get a new one for my closet. But yeah, I am really happy with how this turned out. It looks a lot better than it did before. Like I said, my husband is actually a very tidy person, but this closet situation was just like not working out very well. Eventually we will put doors back up there, but the reason we took them off was because one, I was painting in here, but also it's really hard when this door is open to our bedroom, it's like impossible for him to really get into his closet. So it's just like a lot easier without doors, but we will eventually put some back on. So he should be home in a couple of hours and I'll see if I can film his reaction to his new closet. Okay, Kevin just got home from work, so I'm gonna have him come in so that we can get his reaction on camera. Okay. Check oh, it wow. Out. Looks good. <laughs> Dang, that's a lot nicer than it was. Dang, you still have all this space? Can... Yeah, so I thought it would be nice if you had like an empty shelf where you could just put things. Yeah. Or like if you wanna wear something again before you wash it. Heck yeah. Oh, that's awesome. Look at the hats. I know. That's sweet. Shoes for the this one too. Mm -hmm. That that spacing is literally perfect. I know. Can I put your belts here? Awesome. All right, you guys, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Please give it a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe. And I will be back very soon with another video. Bye.